Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Exploring Worlds. Now, we're back here at the One Flower, One Leaf Art Gallery, and Peter R. Nichols, which you've seen on the channel before, is going to do a bit more of an in-depth uh, look at um, his personal artwork. So stick around, and um, we hope you enjoy that. Good morning. Yes, I am Peter R. Nichols. Uh, I am a digital artist, I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer, and today I want to just share with you some of uh, my art that is done uh, digitally. And uh, we'll begin here with like the squirrel. Um, when I was in art school I worked with a lot of people who worked with mixed media. Um, and when the computer came out, I uh, could see that it was a tool for art that uh, was really going to transform our, our, our entire generation of uh, how we viewed art and that sure has come to pass. So over here uh, is an example of some of the art that, um, that I'm doing. It's um, all kinds of mixed media. There's painting, there's sketching, there's photography, there's small little brushes that I'm using to to get the details to exactly as I feel, you know, there's a creative uh, you know, element, you know, to that. And um, up here is kind of an example. It's a little bit of a sort of a time lapse in a way. Uh, this being some of my more modern art. This here is art which is very postmodern. Um, you know, very much inviting the viewer to look at a piece from a lot of different perspectives. Um, here's something that is done from the world of fractals and um, the unlimited component of fractals uh, is always pointing us back to infinity and uh, just it's almost like the, the, the hand of God is in a sense uh, um, a part of demonstrating what you know nature looks like and, um, and it, like I mentioned, it's, it's absolutely infinite. It's incredible the, the amount of things that you can do within this spectrum. Up here is a picture I'm very proud of. I've uh, I spent many years dreaming of doing a picture um, using triangles. And so there's a heavy mathematical component to this. And uh, I'm just really, really happy with this. This was from a, a sensuality uh, exhibition that I was a part of. and. Um, and yeah, like I mentioned, just really, really happy with that. So, okay. So recently, I've been uh, walking the mountains um, and uh, have just um, been having so many experiences with nature, especially with the trees. Um, I feel their vibrancy. I feel their expression. And uh, I've done more pictures on trees than I ever imagined that I would. And uh, here's a few of them that are in a sense just expressing the, I don't know, the energy or um, just in a sense I feel like I'm working with nature to really try to find, you know, how it is that they're expressing in ways that are not usually visibly apparent, you know, to most people. And so here are a few pieces that I'm very, very happy with. Um, and they are just showing nature in a way that has really never been shown before. And um, I just think that uh, as we are continually seeking expression uh, for, you know, within our lives, uh, nature is also forever expressing and in a small way I'm, I'm uh, attempting to capture that. So as I've been mentioning, I've been really uh, finding an incredible kinship with nature um, and art recently. And so here is a few more pieces that are, you know, representative of the forest and um, and just their expressions. This one here is actually a dedication to Elizabeth Evans, who has worked uh, on a lot of these ideas recently, and uh, really bringing out the reds, really bringing out uh, the personality, you know, of uh, you know of the trees, and uh, I really admire that uh, that style, that focus and that dedication, you know, to color theory that is, uh, it's just exquisite. And so, also, um, I have uh, a few local scenes uh, about, you know, the area that we live in. Um, 
obviously very influenced by you know artists like Van Gogh, where they're transforming the scenery, um, and and it's just so very beautiful here that um, it's it's hard really not to uh, to find a lot of material to work with. Um, over here is uh, you know we're working with animals a little bit more. Again, just you know bringing out their personality, working on. Um, um, you know, just finding a way that they're expressing in a way that we may normally normally not see, uh, you know, with the naked eye kind of thing. And uh, down here, you know, is uh, as I mentioned Van Gogh earlier, just sort of his influences with his, you know, the swirls and a lot of these types of things. These are examples of uh, just you know those types of movements, um, bringing color, you know, to the forefront. That is really been my focus is to uh, encourage uh, color, encourage the other artists, you know, to really bring color, you know, to uh, to a new height, if you can, if you will. Um, and again, just more of the same here as far as like local scenes and, and this kind of stuff. Um, the local boat, which has transformed over the years, um, and there's different variations of that that I've done. Um, but this is just a boat that is just sitting on the other side of the gallery that everybody walks by every single day. It's been there for years, and um, and I was just very happy to, to actually do something, you know, with this in mind. So one thing that would be interesting to mention is um, this art piece by Peter R. Nichols is called the Meditator, and um, what's significant about this one um, is that. For 25 years, Peter's been doing, um, using the computer for, as a means to create art. And um, this is, and so he's been doing that kind of um, one of the pioneers in that, you know, back when computers were first becoming a, a popular thing. And um, so this, this, this painting was basically painted um, on an editing program on a computer. This, like, you know, there's you know, just like an editing program for making a video, but there are ones for painting as well, and you know, you can get all the colors and all the digital brushes and all of that and, and create a painting like this one here. Um, so that is something that we thought would be interesting to mention in this documentary, as it's, it's, it's an important, um, it's, it's an important thing that uh, Peter incorporates into his um, pursuit of art. Well, that was very interesting. Um, it's always it's always interesting to talk to Peter about his um, his art as he is very talented and um, has a very unique process and so I hope you enjoy this uh, slideshow that I've put together um, featuring a lot of the art of Peter R Nichols thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed please come back for more and um, I really hope you do enjoy this slideshow thank you